What's up guys, Takapsh here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling well and today Apple has just dropped iOS 11.0.3 to the public, so this one is available for every single iPhone that runs the iOS 11 and you can go ahead and install this one right now in your settings, general and software updates. So yeah, first of all, uh, there is the size of it, so this one is approximately 230 megabytes as I've seen on the different devices and so this one is of course has a build number which is listed in here, so this is 15A for three two and it's every single build number for some reason is uh, beginning with the 15 a and then there are the letters so there are a couple of issues that have been fixed and resolved in this current version of the iOS so first of all there is an issue where the audio and the haptic feedback would not work on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 plus model so personally I haven't had such an issue on my iPhone 7 plus but I did really have this haptic feedback issue and this was really bad because you know it just you know felt a little bit uh, you know a slow and and you know a little bit different so this was pretty annoying when I had this kind of haptic issue on my iPhone 7 plus but currently I'm running the iOS 11.1 so don't have these issues no more so then we have another issue which is let's say more like a feature because Apple never in the history did kind of this kind of things because you know it wasn't that uh, good for Apple to lose revenue and such things like the Apple genuine displays where they can actually re you know replace and service your iPhone with the new displays but now there is an issue have been resolved where you can actually go ahead and go to any other third-party services and have your iPhone fixed I mean your display on the 6s and this will work right now because previously it looks like they had some kind of you know um, limitations or something like this so this displays would not work in the past and yeah guys I mean that should be pretty much it that's pretty much everything that we know in terms of this iOS 11.0.3 as for the other features or you know changes there aren't any so I haven't noticed any changes at all uh, in the whole iOS so you know the 3d touch lag is still here I mean on my iPhone success it's still present and I can clearly see this one but uh, as I've seen before on the new iOS 11.1 this one has been fixed partially so it's not that noticeable then of course we don't have any new emojis uh, on the keyboard so these new emojis that we uh, got from the iOS 11.1 beta 2 they are not here so that's really bad and also for this 3d touch multitasking it's also not present in here so of course guys if you want to have this latest features on your devices I would recommend you guys to actually update to the new beta of the iOS 11.1 that's exactly which I am having on my iPhone 7 plus right now and I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, as for the battery issues and stuff like this well I didn't have much time to actually test it right now so I'm actually gonna be testing this one in the future so be sure to stay tuned for that and yeah guys I mean this should be pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a huge thumbs up so that will be so so much appreciated like always and as always guys, I really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out.